Well, what do you know? <laughs> the sun is shining. We have a day over 32 degrees freezing point for the first time in what seems like forever. <sighs> this makes me so happy because I despise winter with every part of my being. But when we can at least have a day like this where, you know, the ice is melting off my driveway, I can take the beast out. It just makes me happy. So first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the lowering springs to Auto Illusions because my new wheels are on their way. I do have a tracking number for them. So we're getting extremely close to putting the new wheels on the beast. And I have ordered tires as well. We will be putting Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's on the beast. Throw this in here. But before we take off, this video is actually brought to you by Movement Watches. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that a few weeks ago, I posted about these awesome watches and their sunglasses. And I've never really done a sponsored video ever on my channel. You'll know this if you've been following for a while. The only thing I've really promoted is Exotic Carbon, who are friends of mine, they foam cases and so on. And then I've done some collaborations with Pennzoil where I've filmed for them and, and that kind of thing. But I've never really done a sponsored product placement video. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I love these watches. Now if you're like me and you're not a typical watch connoisseur type guy, meaning you're not out to spend you know thousands of dollars on a watch but you still want something that looks really really good, this company is definitely for you. Now these watches they start off at only 95 bucks. Now this company is called Movement, MVMT.com. They have watches and they also have awesome sunglasses which you guys know I wear in pretty much every video. See? Now I actually have an awesome testimonial. The first day, and I'm not making this stuff up, I would never sit and lie to any of my subscribers on my YouTube channel just to make it sound good. I went to the gas station to fill up the car go inside to pay and I give him the money and right away he's like man that's a nice watch so the first day I wore it I got a compliment on this watch so why am I telling you guys this well if you go to mbmt.com and you pick out a watch or sunglasses that you like for yourself or your girlfriend wife husband whatever you get 15 bucks off your purchase now they come in these uh, pretty cool packages as well and this is another one that I picked it's called camo this is one that I got for my wife. Now she actually picked out a second watch that is her favorite, as you can see here, and she absolutely loves it. So if you want your own sunglasses, your watch, go to mbmt.com. Remember, use the promo code AUTOBLOG15 for 15 bucks off your purchase. But now, we haven't had a cold start in a little while. Let her rip. This gas hog of a car, of course, needs filled up. There we have a nice black M4. Very nice. Looking about as salty as my car is in this weather. Once again, Auto Illusions, check them out for all your automotive needs if you live in the western Pennsylvania area, specifically Pittsburgh. All right, so we got the lowering kit dropped off. And here's the thing, my wheels are expected to arrive tomorrow. That's Wednesday. Now I leave for Los Angeles on Friday. So the thing is we're not gonna have time to have everything put on before I leave. So unfortunately we're gonna have to wait until I come back to have the wheels, the tires, the lowering kit and everything fitted on the car 
and do the final reveal. However, if the wheels come today, I'm gonna film them in this vlog so you guys can at least see what the wheels look like before they're actually on the car. Um, I was expecting to have all this done before I left so you guys could see it, but um, time is just not allowing it because the car needs lowered, needs new wheels on, needs new tires on, it needs to be aligned. I mean, it, it's, it's gonna take probably a whole day to, to get everything done because these guys have other things to do as well they don't just sit and wait for me to come here with a new modification and then they have work so uh, yeah it's gonna take a little while but hopefully I can show you guys the wheels before I leave for LA oh my god it's a whopping 37 degrees <laughs> I love it but with these temperatures getting milder it means that the, all the snow that came yesterday is now melting so the roads are pretty wet and my car looks like absolute garbage so what we're gonna do is there is a touchless car wash uh, in the area where I live and there's tons of car washes around here but this is the only one that is touchless so I run it through there pretty much every time I drive the car during the winter <laughs> you know we don't want that salt so free car wash and after much better So I bought this G7X that I'm filming with right now to have as a new vlog camera. If you watched the uh, previous couple of videos, you would have seen when I actually went and purchased it. Now I did that because I do actually want to try to step up my photography game as well. Now the G7X is obviously not a DSLR, but it does have a lot of the settings that a DSLR has. I just got to learn how to do it. <laughs> When I take the pictures, I just use auto. I gotta learn how to take real photos uh, on RAW and then start editing them. Um, I mean, I'm a Mac user, so I guess I'll have to learn Lightroom as well, but any advice you guys can give me is highly appreciated. All right, so we're back home here, and I went to Washington, D.C. to renew my passport uh, a few weeks ago. I didn't vlog about that or anything, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I was there. Anyhow, when I went there, apparently I was caught for speeding. So there's my car right there. So 150 bucks. So if you're driving in the District of Columbia, watch out for these damn cameras. And I should probably add what the speed was. I was apparently going 45 in a 25. I wasn't driving in a residential area or anything like that. It's just right outside the downtown area. That's where I think this was. Um, for some reason, the speed limit is extremely uh, slow there. So I must have been speeding and not really thinking about it. Of course, I don't condone speeding where the speed limit is actually low. Now, after getting the car washed up and everything, I thought it'd be fun to go do some nice drone shots and that kind of thing. But Man, I'm cheesing. The weather is what it is, and I, you know, I don't want to get the car dirty right away, so we're actually going to do that in the Fusion. Okay, so that's how long this drone lasted. 
it is completely beat up. I mean, the propellers and the gimbal is just dangling around here. Yeah, this drone is pretty much toast. Which really sucks. Because of course I was planning to take this to California. Um, now I'm gonna have to buy a new drone because that's not gonna be covered on any kind of warranty, I don't think, because I don't even have a warranty. So basically what happened was that I set the active tracking feature on the drone, which I usually do when I do these follow me modes type filming with my car, and now the drone is toast. So, <laughs> oh man. Oh well, well I gotta go pick up Sydney from school. Look who I picked up. Hi. <laughs> Sydney, my favorite little eight-year-old in the whole sitting world. Sitting in the front. Yeah, you're sitting in the front. We got the seat pulled up all the way. She has the seatbelt on. Safety first. You know we can't listen for too long on YouTube because uh, copyright police will get us. Why? I'm not allowed to play this type of music. Why? <laughs> this is how it is. Like No, the copyright police. You don't know what that is yet, honey. So never mind. It's just that, like when when you have on YouTube, you can't play any song that you want, like uh, songs that you hear on the radio and stuff like that, because the artist and the recording uh, label they won't let you uh, make money off of having their songs in your videos. I know that might be a little much for you to process at this point, but that's how it works. That, I can only have about 10 seconds of it. Yeah, that's when when we played in the club in that one video. Yeah, so when I was like putting, doing this and going like that, you had to edit it because like they would have arrested you. No, <laughs> they're not gonna arrest me, honey. It's just that you can't, it, it, you just can't do it. It's hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> all right and here we are it is the next day so today is wednesday the footage you just saw was from tuesday now i had to wait till today because i was hoping that my wheels were going to arrive yesterday which was tuesday but i had to wait till today and guess what just got here with the fedex truck one two three four <laughs> i'm so excited the brand new wheels are here we're not going to waste any time we're going to open one of these boxes right away so we can take a look at the new wheels. All right, let's go. And I can't believe I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's like 40 degrees outside. It's tropical. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this down here. Now the wheel's obviously in plastic and I don't want to remove the plastic, but... Alright, so feast your eyes on this. Boom! Oh my god, look at these wheels! As I said, it's plastic here and I don't really want to remove that quite yet. But you can see the full design of the wheel. I know I'm moving around here. These are the Velos D7s. And oh my God, I mean, they're gonna look absolutely sick on my car, man. I've waited a long time for this. This is so nice. This has gotta be one of the front wheels. Yep, 20 by 10. The rears are 20 by 11. But here you have it. What do you guys think of the design? I mean, I love it. I think it's so aggressive. I apologize about the plastic here. I know the reflection isn't optimal, but we're still waiting to get the wheels on the car and that video is coming, of course. So as you can tell from my original wheels, I mean that I love and a lot of you guys I know as well love these wheels, but they're like a multi-spoke wheel and so are the new ones. So uh, should I back the car out and put one of the wheels next to the car? Yeah. So this is uh, 
you know, not the best comparison, but better than nothing. I think this wheel is gonna look absolutely awesome on this car. I mean, it's gonna be badass. That's the best I can do right now. My driveway is slanted, so the wheel's about to roll off the cardboard piece here. Yeah, with the tires and everything are on there. The car is lowered. Oh my God. All right, so we have the wheels tucked away in a safe place. Beast is back in the garage. I hope you guys love these wheels as much as I do. That might not really be possible but because I love these wheels. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, I, I'm going to show you guys another shot here. I did pull the plastic back um, at one point here so you guys can really see what the wheel looks like. And I mean, the, the finish of it, the design, and just the detail of this two-piece wheel is just absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to have it on the car but I want to give a special thanks to Velos Design Works who are the ones who made the wheel that's the company I got them from um, they've been great to me and you know I'm, I'm so happy I mean the design of that wheel is just amazing there's not a C63 in the world that has that wheel on them uh, there's other cars that have that wheels uh, other models but not a C63 so I'll be the only one so far uh, that has that wheel at least to my knowledge, I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that when we talked about this, that there is no C63 yet that has uh, the D7s on. So if you're in the market for aftermarket wheels, definitely check out Velos Design Works. Uh, hit up Carlos, a great guy to work with, and they'll definitely hook you up. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the upload. Give it a like, share it with a friend. If you did this is most likely the last video I'm posting until I'm in California so until next time in a new state bye bye